Let's look at a few examples for solving interior and exterior triangle angles within the Delta Math online system. So this problem says in triangle QRS, QS is, is extended through point S to point T. And then it gives us the measure of these three angles. This says find the measure of angle RST. So let's draw a picture of this so that we can see what's going on here. So I just want a generic triangle. Um, I'm not worried about having the proper size angles. Um, but we'll let the algebra do the work for us on that. So this is, I'm going to call this Q. We'll call this R. And we're going to call this S. And this is extend QS through point S to point T. So they, they want us to extend this side out. And we're going to put T over here. All right. So now let's put in the information they're giving us. They say that measure of angle QRS is x plus 8. So QRS, that's this angle here, that's x plus 8. Then they tell us that the measure of RST is 4x plus 11. So RST, that's the exterior angle, right? So that's that angle. And then they want us to find, they also give us, I should say, the measure of SQR, angle SQR, and that's this angle here. So what did they give us? They gave us two measures of remote interior angles, and they gave us the exterior angle. So we're going to write the algebraic equation now um, to solve this by adding up the remote interior angles and send those equal to the exterior angle. So we're going to say x plus 8, I'm going to color code this, plus the x plus the 13. Those are the two remote interior angles, right? And they are going to equal the exterior angle, which is the 4x plus 11. So you can kind of see it color coded there at the diagram. So now we have our algebraic equation written. All we got to do is, is solve it now. So left side here, let's combine like terms. I get 2x plus 21 equals the 4x plus 11. Now I want to get x on one side and the numbers on the other. Let's go ahead and put x on the right side and the numbers on the left side so we deal with positive numbers. So I'm going to say minus 2x here, minus 2x here. And now I want to move this 11 to the left. So I'm going to say minus 11, minus 11. So now we get 10 on the left equals 2x. Then we're going to divide both sides by 2. All right, divide by 2, divide by 2, because we want 1x. So we end up getting x equals 10 over 2, which is 5. All right, so then for our answer, let's see what it wants. It says find the measure of RST. So we're not quite done. If you put 5 in, you're going to get this wrong, because it's asking us for the measure of angle RST. I love it. I want the, This is what I want you to be able to do here. So we're going to substitute 5 for x, right? So we're going to go 4 times 5 plus 11, right? So we took the 5, we're using this expression, 4x plus 11, which is a measure of angle RST, and we substitute it in there. So that's going to give us 20 plus 11. So 20 plus 11 is 31 degrees. So the measure of that exterior angle is 31 degrees. Now we just type that in. 31 is all we put. You don't have to write the measure of angle RST or anything. Just put 31, submit it. And we got it right. So the common mistake we're going to see from students in the beginning is you're going to want to type in just the x value. You've got to read what is, what is it asking you for. Let's do one more. So in this one, in triangle CDE, CE is extended through point E to point F. And they give us some angle measures. So let's draw just a generic triangle here. I'm going to call this C, call this D. I'm going to call this point E. And then it says extend CE so that it goes through point it goes through point E and it goes to F. So that means it's going like this. And then down here is F. All right. So now what angles do they give us? They give us that angle CDE is 2x minus 4. So CDE, that's this angle right here. That's the 2x minus 4. They give us measure our angle DEF. DEF is 6x minus 10. Oh, they gave us that exterior angle. 
DEF is the exterior angle. That's 6x minus 10. And then finally, they gave us uh, angle ECD, and that's the 2x plus 16. So again, they gave us the two remote interior angles, the purple and the green angle, and they gave us the exterior angle of the triangle, which is the pink angle there. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this. We know that the sum of the two remote interior angles equals the exterior angle measure. So let's, let's write it different this time. I'm going to write the exterior angle on the left. So I'm going to go 6x minus 10 equals, and then I'm going to put in my 2x minus 4, and we're going to add also to that the 2x plus 16. So it's color-coded for you. That's how we set up the algebraic equation. Again, I want my students drawing the picture and writing the algebraic equation and showing your work to solve it. All right, so let's, let's combine like terms on the right side now. So 2x and 2x is going to get us 4x. Negative 4 and 16 is 12. So we have 4x plus 12 on the right side. The left is still 6x minus 10. So now let's put x on the left side this time. So we're going to subtract... 4x from both sides. And that means I want to move that negative 10 to the right. So I'm going to add 10 to get that to become a 0 on the left. What you do to one side, you must do to the other. All right. So now we have 2x equals 12 and 10 is 22. So now we're going to divide both sides by 2. And so we get x equals 11. But whoa, whoa, whoa. don't enter that in as your answer. Read the directions. It says, find the measure of angle DEF. Well, DEF, that is our pink angle there. That's our exterior angle. So we need to substitute the 11 in for x in the expression 6x minus 10. So we're going to go 6, and then we're going to go boop. Substitute that 11 for the x minus 10. 6 times 11 is 66 minus 10. So then our answer is going to be 56 degrees. So we can type that into delta math and just confirm that we got it right. 56 and check mark. Yay.